Welcome house family and friends. Thanks so much for joining me here today at Bloomore Home and Garden. And today I want to talk to you about working in the garden. For many of us, we truly look forward to that time in the garden. It's relaxing, it's peaceful. There are so many health benefits for our physical health and our mental health and those healthy microbes in the soil. But let's be honest, it can be a lot of work. Today, I wanna to share with you a few of my favorite things that help take a lot of the work out of gardening. I tried to keep my list short, like my top five things or my top 10 things, but I got kind of carried away because there's just so many things that I find when I'm gardening that just make it so much easier and so much more enjoyable. And I just wanted to share all of them with you. So I have a little bit of a list, so let's jump in. Before I got too far into the video, I wanted to mention that these items would make great gift ideas. I want to start out talking about my favorite hand tools. Now, what better tools do we have than our hands? But sometimes we need a pair of gloves. I have several things that I look for in a pair of gloves. I want them to be comfortable. I like these gloves. I believe I got them from Lowe's and they have these nice reinforced fingers and this nice thick palm. Sometimes you just need a pair of gloves for pulling things like thistles. Those thistles are sharp and those roots are in there deep. And sometimes you just need a really good pair of gloves for thistles and other things you don't wanna to touch. So I look for something that is stretchy and thin and comfortable. I wanna be able to put it on and take it off easily. I don't want it to be stuck in there. I also look for a wonderful fabric that is easy and breathable because when you're working outside in the summer and it's hot, of course your hands get hot and then you're kind of melting in there. But I really like these gloves for that thickness and that grab ability. The grip is good when you're working with slippery things and your hand is well protected when trimming roses. This tool is called a cultivator and it is my favorite, I think, of my hand tools. I use it so much. I really like this one for its nice grip and this soft cushion handle. It also has this nice firm neck. This one is made by Fiskars and it has this nice thick tines that are really strong to work through the soil, really gives you that drag. My favorite use, of course, is to get in there and work this around the weeds. This helps loosen the soil around the weeds and that helps loosen the root and it makes weed pulling a dream. So we're gonna move on to trowels. Now of course trowels are very important in gardening and this one is longer and narrower and these serrated teeth on the edge make it great to break up the soil and chop it up. These are by Corona brand and it is a pair. I really like them of course because they are very comfortable. These also have the inch increments on them which is also very beneficial when you're planting in the garden. I know certain things need certain depth so this is perfect. These again have that nice wonderful grippy handle so when it's hot and your hands are sweaty you still get a good grip. It has a thumb point and a finger point. Also great for ergonomics because when you have arthritis or just enjoy working in the garden a while you won't get tired hands. Next, let's talk about pruners. Anytime you're cutting anything in the garden, you're gonna want a really nice pair of pruners. These are from Fiskars. They have this nice wide button for locking and unlocking, and these are a bypass pruner. There are two types of pruners. There are bypass like these where the blades bypass for a nice, clean, precise cut, which is important to me. And there are anvil. These open and close very easily. They have a nice springy grip, so easy on the hands. These are my favorite pruners. Now we have another kind of pruner. This is a pruning shear. It works like a scissor. It's very lightweight. It has this very nice spring, a very large button for locking and unlocking, and a nice stainless steel blade. I use these the most because when you're just cutting real thin branches, they work so easy and they're so much easier on the hands than just a pair of scissors. 
have to tell you, I would be lost without my little garden belt. Now, if you prefer a garden apron, that is good too. You just want to make sure that you have a lot of pockets to carry your things in. I like this belt because it's easy on, easy off, and it has a lot of pockets, and it was very, very inexpensive. And I'm going to show you how I stock mine. First, I carry some plant labels. When you're walking around the garden and something doesn't have a plant or you're planting something, you probably aren't going to remember what that is. Of course, I'm going to carry a Sharpie and a pen to write on those tabs. And next, I have just a little knife just to carry to cut things with. That's always important for me. I carry a measuring tape in my little pouch because... It's so great to know like how deep something has to be, how much spacing between a plant, how tall a plant gets. Then I'm going to carry the pruners that I just spoke about. Another important thing for me is this tie-up stuff here. It is flexible wire that's coated so it's not be rusty or sharp. I believe I found this at the Dollar Tree. And it is a long piece, so you're able to cut off as much as you want. There's 16 feet there, and this is always so handy to tie up a plant, or I've fixed the fence with it before in emergency. I also carry this little item. I believe I got this from the little tool section at tractor supply up at the front of the store it has a bunch of things it has a screwdriver a little saw it has a knife it's a hammer so it's a little all-in-one if you're hammering in garden stakes or cutting a thicker branch or anything like that this little tool comes in so handy rather I'm using my pouch for a tool belt or a garden pouch I have it with me at all times I also carry a couple little empty plastic bags and these are important for me because if you're looking at your plant and it doesn't look healthy, your leaf has a fungi on it or it's yellow or there's a insect and you don't know if it's good or bad, you can place it in here and identify it later. A little notebook is important for me if I want to sketch something out or remind myself to cut the roses heads or deadhead or just any little note that I need to remind myself of and of course I carry a spool of twine because twine is so important in gardening just like the green tie up if you want to tie something up so that is my garden belt here I have a hair tie and over here on the other side is another little clip which you can hang anything from and it's very useful some gloves come with a little connector on them and mine do not have that. I think they did at one time, but you could hang your gloves. I'm just going to tuck my gloves in here and there it is. It's all set and it's ready to go. I also like that the belt part of this is a nice wide band so it does not cut into me. It moves freely. It's also fully adjustable. It is a great little device. And I just want to mention that nothing here is sponsored. These are not affiliate links when I link them down below. I've bought them all and they are all my own. And I just love them 10 out of 10. I would buy them again. Now this is a great tool. It is called the claw. This is called the gold claw because it has gold on it. I'm not sure why. But they, they have a, a regular and the gold. And this is a game changer when you want to work up soil. If you don't want to be down on your hands or knees or do a lot of extra work, it's just a little side-to-side -side motion and look how good it works up the soil. This soil has not been worked this spring, so it's pretty tough. And this just gets in there and does it. Now, this little shovel is just one of my prized possessions. It is so very old. It is a family heirloom and I've used it for over 30 years and I need a new handle. I keep soaking it with oil and hopefully this year I can get a handle made but it's perfect because it's a little bigger than a trowel and not a full-size shovel so when you're planting small things you don't want to work with a big shovel it's just perfect this kangaroo pop-up from Fiskars is a game changer also this is the 30 gallon size and I'm thinking this year I might even get the smaller one 
But you can see here with this one, it has drain holes. So if you have water in there, it drains out and it doesn't get the weeds so gross. And the hard bottom makes it easy to stand up straight and you can drag it across the bottom. Now this is like a pop-up hamper, but this fabric is really thick. So things aren't gonna poke through it. I love these handles. You can just pick it up and move it. And then it collapses down really easy. It has these big toggle buttons, so it's easy to button. There's just one on each side, and you just close these right back up, and then it folds up quite flat again. So easy for storage. And I have a policy where I touch weeds once. I pull them and I put them in the container and then I empty the container. If you leave them in a pile and you forget about them, you know how that can be. Wheelbarrows are always a great tool to have, but my favorite is this garden cart. I've had it a while, my paper's peeling off. This is Groundwork brand and it is from Tractor Supply. This was actually a Mother's Day gift for me in 2019. I love this car. I love that it has this dump feature on it and it makes it so easy. I use it so many times a day here at the gardens. I love too that I can put all my tools in there and take it to my job site wherever I'm working, whichever part of the garden or the yard I'm working in. And it has all my things in it. I can carry water and plants and all my supplies. This is just a great, I love this tool. This is the 1400 pound capacity. I think they do make one that's smaller. Another great feature about this is this is the handle where you are pulling it by hand, but if you simply pull a pin, you can turn it around and then put the pin back in and you can put this part up here at the top along to your long tractor or your ATV and you can pull it behind your vehicle making it so much easier if you're pulling a lot of weight long distances. So this is a game changer. It is so wonderful. And yes, I use it both ways. And you can just flip that handle right back the other way for pulling it. It's so simple. So it's a, a double deal. Well, friends, thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this video with all of your gardening friends so they too can jump in and find the things that do help so much with taking the, the heavy work out of gardening. Stay out in the garden longer. Please give this video the thumbs up. You know that helps the channel to grow and we so appreciate it. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and join me here on this farmhouse journey. Until next time, guys, be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you soon.